this video, I'm going to show you the last few steps of um, throwing a cylinder on a pottery wheel. I'm not going to focus a lot on the beginning steps because we're focusing on trimming and undercutting. Don't pull out your floor too wide. Why? What would happen if I pulled my floor too wide? If I pull that floor too wide, yeah, it won't, be, it won't be tall enough. And remember, we want them to be taller than they are wide, okay? Now, you really wanna make sure that you're pressing in there at the bottom. See, I'm like bringing that bump up. This inside hand stays stable, okay? It just, it doesn't get pushed in. It doesn't push out. It's like a wall that lets this hand push against. So watch me make that end in at the bottom. My wheel's going medium speed. I'm bringing my hands up. You don't want your clay to get dry, otherwise it will stick and get you off center. You wanna get through all these steps without getting off center. So I take my sponge, put this part of my hand on the rim, get water in there. I also like to take my sponge and do this and get water up there. Thumb inside, I'm gonna push in again. Ideally, this is my last pull. Indent, bringing that clay straight up. It's the bottom where the clay hides, so you wanna make sure that you're really applying some pressure down there on the bottom. I want you guys to do the majority of your work in three pulls. You can also get the water out of the inside and use it on your pot. I'm gonna do one more pull. I wanna to try to get that weight and I'm trying to get that 90 degree angle down there. My outside fingertips are below. Every time I get to the top, I'm gonna to use these duck fingers at six o'clock and I'm gonna go over the rim, okay? Every pull, I do that. So I'm drying off the inside, I'm drying off the outside. You don't have to do this, but if you wanna get a little fancy after everything's cleaned off, like I have my wheel head cleaned off, this is dried off, this is dried off. You can take a wooden rib. I'm supporting the pot on the inside and I'm taking the straight side and I'm just cleaning off that slip and I'm straightening out that side, okay? That's optional, but don't just do it like this. You have to have something on the inside to support it. All right, let's get to trimming. You're gonna use your wooden knife. I like to dip it in the water and get it wet. Now, <clears throat> You can see mine flares out a little bit here if you look closely, but you guys know what I'm talking about, how like you get that skirt on there. As you practice and get better, you'll learn how to push that skirt in, but we wanna trim any extra weight off here, okay? Because we don't want bottom heavy pots. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold this tool super, super tight with both hands. And you're going, you don't want this part to touch the wheel. I mean, touch the pot. You don't want this part to touch the pot. You want the tip to touch the pot. I'm gonna go up kind of above where it curves out. I'm holding onto this tool really tight. I'm kind of leaning in with that tip. Spinning my wheel kind of medium speed and I'm slowly bringing that tool down. See how much weight I'm taking off there? Get your metal knife. Cut it like a cake. Hold this flat. I like to take this finger right here and hold it there so that if you don't, like when you when I spin this, it's gonna wanna grab it out of my hand. So I like to take my finger here and then slowly spin this. Make sure that the tool is flat against the wheel head. Only go around once and then you're gonna take this off. Now, if you guys look closely, can see that I have little lines here. And that's because as I was going down with my tool, I kind of pulled my tool out. You don't want to do that. You want to, so I'm going to do this again. You can do it again if you need to. And I'm going to make sure that my tip is leaning in and not coming out. See how much better that looks? So if you need to, you can trim it more than once. All right, potters, this is the undercut. So again, I like to get this tool wet. 
this tool is gonna be like at a 40 degree angle. The angled side of this tool, so it's flat. It's flat like a diving board. Not skinny like this, flat. The angled side is on the left. So I remember that by thinking LA, left angle. This is at a 45 degree angle, okay? Because you want the pot, it's called an undercut because the cut goes under the pot. You don't want it up here. Again, I like to have my finger right here so it, it holds onto it. You're gonna spin your wheel like medium slow. You're gonna put this tip as close as you can to your pot and it's gonna be just resting on that wheel head. And then with your, your arms stable on your thighs, like your um, thighs close to your torso, you're gonna go in quick to your pot about this far and hold, okay? This is what it looks like. So we're here, we go in quick and hold. Then again, with your metal knife, you cut this like a cake, hold it flat, go around once, and then for this, you're gonna pick down and out, down and out. Sometimes people like to go like this, but the goal is to not push it up into that pot. I like to do the finishing touch of taking my sponge and kind of just going over that sharp edge to clean up what that looks like. But now can you see how it kind of, it's like if you've ever put on a pair of heels, high heels kind of feel a little fancier, right? It's like putting on a little pair of heels for a pot. It, it raises it up, it casts a shadow right here. It makes the pot appear lighter um, compared to if you looked at a pot like this that doesn't have an undercut, see how this pot kind of looks heavy? Heavy, there's no sh shadow here. And this pot has a shadow that's cast there and it appears lighter. Pay attention to um, when you go to the grocery store. Sometimes yogurt containers don't have that and they look kind of heavier. This bucket actually has an undercut. See that undercut right there where it casts a shadow? And it makes it aesthetically look nicer. Something that you would never notice unless it wasn't there, but you wouldn't know what you're noticing. Okay, next for taking it off. You wanna make sure that your hands are clean. So even like using your microfiber cloth to clean them off and then usually if they're clean but maybe a little damp i just kind of pat them on here because they're clean you're just getting a little water off you want to make sure your pot is dry no water in the middle why do you not want any water in the middle because it'll dry unevenly resulting in what it's cracking yep so no water anywhere and then also no water here this should be all cleaned off okay you're going to take your wire tool and you're going to wrap it around your fingers nice and tight Start up here at the top of your wheel and you're gonna pull it back towards your body. You can spin your wheel while you do this too. And then immediately you're gonna take your hands like this and you're gonna hold it on the sides and you're gonna set it on your board, okay? Just like this. So if this was the board, I'm gonna set it on the board, okay? Do not do this business Ooh. and put your hand down here, okay? Just set it just like this on the board. So when you set it on the board, a common thing with beginners is they want to touch it. They want to fix it and touch it. Don't touch it. It's too wet right now. Like if you touch it, I promise you it's going to get more messed up. So just try to refrain from touching it. Even if it's a little wonky, let it dry a little bit. Let it get it leather hard a little bit and then it'll be easier to, to fix. But until we're keeping them, you're still gonna cut that in half. When we do start keeping them, let me show you how to put them on a board. So if you're sitting at your wheel here, you don't wanna put your pot here closest to you, okay? You always want to put your pot furthest away in the corner so that then you can put the next one next to it, next one, and build towards you. Because if I put it here, then I have to reach over it to put the next one, right? Or if I put it in the middle, well then I've wasted all this space, 
okay? So take it off, put it there. You don't want it to lean over the edges, okay? So make sure it's within the boundaries of the board. So when your pots are dry enough that they're not sticky anymore, um, you should turn them over. So to pick them up, if they're stuck, you twist them and pull them, like twist them and pick them up, and then flip them over like so. That way the bottom can start getting air and they can dry more evenly. 